Jean is an incredibly strong 5-star character that provides excellent all-around utility from her kit. With her talents, she is able to heal passively, heal and burst with her Dandelion Breeze, do crazy amounts of damage with Gale Blade on a 6 second cooldown, and tank like crazy when all of these things combine. There are many facets of her kit that allow her to be flexible, and these facets make a character with technical skills and techniques that can be utilized to greatly improve combat performance. In order to master her and increase your skill ceiling, here are 5 techs for Jean that you can implement into your gameplay. Number 1. Weave Enemies with Dandelion Breeze When you activate Dandelion Breeze, most enemies get pushed out, which means they won't take any damage after the field has been put down. However, if you bring them in with Gale Blade, they'll take damage any time they touch the outside of the Dandelion Breeze. If you stand right on the edge of the Dandelion Breeze, you can bring enemies in and weave them between the inside and outside to force them to take consistent Animo damage. This works especially well with Animo builds because it increases the damage overall that you'll be doing when you pull someone into the Dandelion Breeze. When you feel yourself getting near the end of your Gale Blade charge, you can go ahead and aim them up and force them to take fall damage as well. Number 2. Kill enemies with the environment. Because Gale Blade can pick up enemies, you can easily displace them as well. This means if you get near a body of water, you can lift enemies with Gale Blade and throw them into the water to instantly kill them if they're not a Cryo or Hydro Slime. In order for this to work, the level of the water has to be where the enemy would begin swimming from. If the water's not deep enough, the enemy won't drown. Cryo and Hydro Slimes are unaffected because they walk on water. This scale in particular, though, makes Jean one of the best resource farmers for certain enemies, as she can easily kill Fatui agents, Sison mages, and assassins. Number 3. Double Fall Damage and Chain Most of you are probably aware that you can make enemies take fall damage by using Gale Blade and aiming up at the sky. And if you didn't know, now you do. But were you aware that you can make enemies take fall damage twice? If you make an enemy float with Jean's charged attack, you can aim yourself straight ahead in the direction of the enemy and start charging Gale Blade. When you charge Gale Blade, it'll force the enemy down to the ground at a quick pace, if positioned correctly. This should cause them to take fall damage even if they're still stuck in your Gale Blade. After they take that initial fall damage, you can aim them up to make them take fall damage again after Gale Blade's cast. After they take the second hit of fall damage, you can use Jean's charged attack again to hit them into the air again and repeat the process. This tech is particularly effective for killing smaller enemies and mages. Abyss mages are a pain in the butt, but once you get their shield down, you can basically stun lock them like this until they die. It's super effective in domains. Number 4. Lift Heavy Enemies Normally, if you try to use Gale Blade to lift up a big slime or a larger Hillichurl, you can't pick them up because they're too heavy. Or if you do manage to pick them up, it's very slow and you can't throw them very far. If you use a charged attack on them once, it lowers their weight slightly and lifts them. If you do it a second time, Jean's ability that suspends them mid-air will take effect, meaning that you can send them flying in various directions. You won't be able to get them to take fall damage every time, but you will be able to get them repositioned and it is just kind of funny to send them away. And it also helps for killing large hillichurls in water. Number 5. Stagger tougher enemies with Charged Attack You can use Charged Attack on Jean to constantly stagger larger enemies who may develop a shield or become unhittable. In order to do this, you basically just have to Charged Attack repeatedly. It takes a lot of stamina though, so make sure that you have full stamina before you try to start a chain. When you run out of stamina, hit them with a Gale Blade to gain a Charged Attack or two back. Be careful when you use Gale Blade, however, as it can give enemies a moment to recover. Those Fatui will never be able to put a shield up again. You can also stagger humanoid bosses with this move. We don't know if this will hold up in the future, but we know it works on Child and makes his first two phases very easy. Just bust right through his shield and he'll be staggered. Now you know 5 essential gene techs to raise your skill ceiling. Implement them into your gameplay and watch as gene becomes a much better unit in your party. As always, share with a fellow genist if you've enjoyed, and leave a rating or comment if you'd like to see more. Subscribe to the channel if you like Genshin Impact content, and as usual, thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.